Well, I'm actually starting from the end. <laughs> I keep saying round brush in the video and I apologize. It's a filbert. It is not a round. This is a filbert with the round top. The round is round. I'm not using a round. I'm sorry. I'm using a round top, the filbert kind. Um, sorry. I know I, I say it all through the video and I do apologize. I looked at that and went, oh my gosh. Anyway, any brushes will work. Whatever you're comfortable with, please use. And here was the end result right here, which you're getting ready to do. And this is my original. So I hope you're joining me and I hope you have a really good time. And um, I added this after the fact, so you're going to get the intro next. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Hi, everybody. Teresa Parker. Today we are going to work on the cute raccoon. We're going to see if we can get y'all to paint this. It's actually designed by uh, Cinnamon Cooney. She's a teacher. She does wonderful things. I'm part of her group with, uh, uh, she comes up with paintings for sip and paint and uh, paint nights with your friends and things like that. The easy ones are, are kind of easy that are between an hour to two hours to paint. And um, this one takes about an hour. The one thing I am going to post is this. It's actually the drawing of what we're going to paint. And what I do, I'm going to show you real quick. Let me turn this around. Maybe. This is the printout from the Art Sherpa. She's my teacher. I'm going to change it up a little bit on once we get painting. But I turn it over. I take my chalk pencil or any chalk. This is just, um, this is actually a sewing tool because I like to sew. But any kid's chalk, anything will work. What I do is I take the chalk and I outline all of the lines that are on here, okay? Then I go to my black painted canvas. I'll tell you about that in a minute. I lay it on there and all you do is rub it real hard and the chalk will come off onto the blackboard, onto the black background. So, so what I do is then I use the chalk and I go ahead and I, it it won't be this dark, so I go through and kind of lighten up, uh, darken up some of the chalk that I want to use so I can see all the lines. This is not cheating um, or scamming. This is just, most painters have to have something to go by. A lot of painters can draw. Um, I can draw, but it takes a while, so it's nice to be able to pre-draw it and be able to do something like this uh, with the chalk. Okay. So now I've got my, my chalk on my background. What we're gonna do is to start with, this is an eight by eight uh, canvas board. It's flat, it's very hard. You can do it on paper, um, wood, anything you wanna paint on. And here is the original that I'm going by. Sorry, it's bouncing. Okay, so you're gonna start, you're gonna take a one inch brush, something like this, and you're gonna paint your background black and um, let that dry. Once the background is dry, then you can take your printout, and I will post it so you can print it. You're going to use the chalk if you have it, and you're going to put it on your black background. Um, if you don't have chalk, you can trace it off onto paper or draw it yourself just to, just to kind of get an idea of where everything is placed. It's very helpful so that your eyes don't end up, you know, crooked or in, a, in their ear or something like that, which I'm terrible about that. Um, and then you've got a really nice um, starting point. So you back, paint the background black, say that 10 times, the background black, let it completely dry, get your drawing on there and come back. And we will be using black and uh, quinacridone magenta, mm, ultramarine blue, phthalo green. Um, I don't think we'll be using purple. We'll be using the Burnt Sienna and the Thalo Blue and White. Mm, and I think that's about it. We might not even use all the blues, but those are kind of the basic colors that are used. Um, there's two, four, six, what, eight, nine colors that are basic. Um, ultramarine th and Thalo Blue, Thalo Green, Burnt Sienna, Quinacridone Magenta, Black, White, um, red, which is a, sorry, which one's this one? Oh, the cad red medium. 
and then the dioxazine purple. Those are kind of the common colors that, that you can get anything out of those colors onto a canvas and make it look right at most things. So if you get everything together, all your colors on the paint brushes, I'll use the one inch for the background. And I have some special brushes. I have a brush that has um, some unique bristles on it. So what you have are uneven bristles and it's kind of good for hair, but on him, it just didn't do the best. You have to use a certain pressure and he's got pretty thick hair. Um, I'm gonna use maybe something like this about an inch. And of course you're gonna wanna use some um, detail brushes. I'll use those for the little fine hairs like here and here. And um, I think that's about it. So any brush will work if you are comfortable with the brushes and you can make the small lines and the circles with the brushes, use whatever you want, um, whatever you're comfortable with and so you can paint loose. Um, the small lines, of course, are, are a very light pressure, just the very tip of your brush and it comes up. And then of course, painting is flat. So I will go ahead and get everything together. We'll let your backgrounds dry and then I will meet you back here in a moment. Okay. So first we're gonna start with, um, let's go ahead and do the background. We're gonna add a little bit more to that. It's gonna take us, oh, uh, maybe a medium sized brush, whatever that you can get into the background here and feel comfortable with. I'm gonna get it damp. And I'm going to use my phthalo green and a little bit of my burnt sienna and it's gonna be a dark green, a little more green there. Okay, it's almost black. See that right there? It's pretty dark. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to scrub it in a little bit. And I don't want to go over my the outline of my raccoon, but that's okay where the flowers are. We'll kind of, we know where they're going to be. We can look at this. That was just kind of a, a basic idea. Let's make it a little more green. Not that green. Oops. So you want it to be, see I have blue. I just blended it right in. So you want it to come in here, and we will go over this with the, the hair of the raccoon as well, but it just lays a good foundation for your flowers so that it's not totally black. It looks like there's some kind of background here. I'm gonna go up this side with the same brown and green, the dark color. Keep getting blue in there, which is fine. It'll just make it you know, a little brighter, I think. Let's see, I'm gonna go up here. I'm just gonna scrub it in. Boy, that paint came right off my canvas. Okay, and I'm just using um, some lower professional paints, some craft paints. Um, I kind of ran, started running low on things since I've been here. And Michael's has been open, which is really good during quarantine, but it's just, you know, if you don't have to make them get out, don't. So now everything's about getting ready to open here in Texas. So everybody's excited and uh, Get everybody back to work and having fun. Let's see, okay. So now we got this, the darker background, okay? Put that in water. And rinse off this brush real good. Okay, now we're gonna use, I'm gonna get a flat brush, okay? Flat brush, about a half an inch maybe. I'm gonna use the burnt sienna, and a little bit of black, okay. Oh, black's been on there for a while, a little bit of white. We're gonna make just a nice brown, kind of a reddish brown. Oh, sorry, can you see that? Okay, and on the top, what we're gonna do is you're going to touch the canvas lightly, light as you can, flick up for the hair, flick up flick up and let it just roll off the canvas. See my lines? Okay. So we're gonna do that up here on the top of his head. He's got the, we're gonna start with the brown. Just flick up the hairs because they're gonna all be standing up back there. Okay. And we're gonna put more layers on here too. So just flick up. So up on the very chiseled edge of your brush and flick with a very light touch. See how that's fanning out? And some are thick, it doesn't matter. You can make it look like hair. We'll put in another coat. Okay. 
So right now we've got his hair. And now we want to come down his nose just a little bit with the brown. Okay, see I'm still flicking. I'm just working my way down. Okay. And then I think we need probably a little brown over here because this is going to disappear into the background. We're going to flick, 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 flick. I just filled it in a little here first. I'm going to go over that with some gray. Okay, so put it here, maybe some in here. And get his chest started. So you can see. Okay. Get the brown. And alrighty. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna rinse my brush. I'm gonna go ahead and mix a little bit of black with the white. I'm gonna get a little gray. I did keep my brush dirty, so it doesn't really it'll kind of blend that color in there. And then I want a light gray. Or a medium gray, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's not too light. And then we're just going to go over same stroke. Just touch lightly and pull, okay? On the very edge, and we're gonna give him some gray in this brown, a little bit of light gray. Okay. Come down a little on his nose. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take this same gray and I'm gonna give him a little bit of his ears. Just flick, flick, flick. All I'm doing is I'm touching the canvas and following that line and flicking out, okay? So kind of give him a little bit of fur there, just so you kind of, we're just talking to it a little bit to, to see that it's there. And we'll go back over it with other colors later. Just a little line, doesn't have to really pop out. Oh, you're gonna hear my cat now. So I'm just giving him some hairs to stick out there, okay? I'm going to take the same gray, and I'm going to use it on over here. Just to kind of build up this brown a little bit. You might need a little bit of water. Okay, so I'm going to do the same kind of strokes. I know, baby. <laughs> and a little bit of light gray. We are going to darken this up. So I'm just going to kind of do some lines and get it, get it going on the darker side here. Okay. Now he really looks funny. Okay, I'm gonna rinse that brush. I'm going to pause the video and let my cat out the door and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a rounded brush like this. I'm gonna use the same gray. All right, little, oops, too much black. Medium gray here. We'll use all this. Okay, and I'm just gonna go around his eyes here, like they start here and follow that line with a light gray. I'm gonna kind of fill in this. And then around here, remember this is just the base. And we'll be putting hairs of, above it, but you do wanna make sure the strokes are kind of going the direction you need them to go. Like his hair is gonna grow out so you kind of want you to see those strokes going out. And then right here on his face next to his nose, you want to keep the shape of his nose. Okay, and I'm just going to paint in here and fill in his muzzle here. And there. sure you can see everything and we're gonna go under here with it okay now well, it looks a little weird now doesn't he <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna go ahead let's put in some light gray here this is the outside of his body here and it's gonna go into the flowers so just put the brush strokes all I'm doing is again I'm just touching and pulling that's uh, pretty much this whole painting is Touch, pull, touch, pull. I'm just doing thicker lines so it fills in better. See? Okay. Now let's do 
let this dry a little bit. Okay, and with this light gram, so we're gonna go up here and we'll kind of fill in his eyebrows a little bit here and here. And again, get more paint. That's just that light touch and the little flick of the brush. See that? That's simple, simple. Okay, let's take a little darker gray. Oops, got, got that paint, paint skin. Okay, we're gonna put some dark gray right in here into his forehead. Maybe even a little darker. Yeah, more towards the black gray. Bring it up in here like so. We're not going a, quite as far as the brown or the light gray. We're just gonna fill it in a little bit with the dark gray and keep coming down his face here on his nose. You just wanna make sure and follow the contour of the nose. Okay. get that done. That's a little weird looking. Okay, now we're going to take, let's take some of the brown. I have not washed my brush. We're just going to take some of the brown and we're going to use part of the gray here and we'll just make it gray brown. <laughs> and we're just going to go back over this with a few little, to line it up with just a touch. Okay, and you don't, you can make this any color you want. Now let's yeah, get a little bit more on his side here and a little bit more on his chest, and I think we're good there. Okay. Let's see. Alrighty, let's go ahead and let's rinse out our brush. Really well. Okay, now it's damp, and what I'm doing is I'm just tapping it. I have some paper towels, tapping on paper towel, or you can use a reusable towel. I'm gonna use this brush again, my round brush. I'm just gonna dip it in the black, and let's do his eye. So his eye rings are right about here. Go right up to his nose. And all the way out to the edge, okay. it on this side and the eyes and fill that in with black alrighty well, let's go ahead and fill in his ears here with black just maybe mm, three quarters of his ear just so it's a little darker and on this side about three quarters of his ear. Okay, we're gonna take the black and let's come down here. We'll go ahead and fill this in with black. We'll cover it with hair. Okay, just easy strokes and down here. And I might wanna give him some kind of hairy strokes here. I'll use the tip of my brush and we'll just do the touch flip. And that way we'll get some black into his chest Darken it up a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take, let's see. Let's go to, I had to rinse that one out. Alrighty, let's go back to my little quarter inch brush here, my flat brush like this. And I'm just gonna get white, okay? I'm going to start up on his ear and how his ear is a touch and a flick so that he's got hair sticking out up here all the way up to the tip and down here it's more of a fuzzy look it's not really a flip so I'm just going to touch it with the end of my brush put it in there kind of flat and the same over here do the get some little hair going on here and growing up here just a little touch here. Just kind of fuzzy on the outside of his ear there. Yeah, let's put in some white fluff here right next to his nose. You're just touching and flicking that brush. Reload as you need to. It does not take a lot of paint. Your brush does not need to be too wet. 
And like I said, whatever brush works for you. Now we're gonna go ahead and start taking this white over this way, over his eyes, and out. Now I'm going the way his hair would grow, right? So kind of over, and I'm kind of curving and letting go. With just the edge of my brush. And he's got hair that comes around his eyes here. Just a light touch. And let's go on this side also the same thing. It's funny because I'm good one side. Well, you know, however good I can be one side. But not so much on the other side. I'm right-handed and I can paint better to the right than I can the left. Okay, let's do a little more white. I just keep getting the white on my paintbrush. So that doesn't look the same as this, but that's okay. So we're going to go down his face over here. And around to his cheek. Just like over here. Okay, we've got a little thick. That's all right. We'll go over that with some gray. No worries. Ever. There's no mistakes. Anything can be painted over. Okay. And let's do his nose. We'll do again. We'll do some white here. Let's make this white. And we're just going to put in some really nice strokes here out of his nose. And this side, my left side. <laughs> Somebody says, practice, practice. Well, I'm practicing, but I guess my left is getting a little better. Okay. You see, it doesn't really look like hair. That's all right. So I'm coming all the way around here from his nose. And do that in white. And let's see. We need to carry the white down through here. So this is his side. Now he's gonna be under some greenery and some flowers, but we do wanna show that he's got his hair down here. And on this side, starting maybe up on his face, cause this side is actually, you can see it a little better in the picture. So you come up underneath his chin right here. And we'll get more white and we'll just drag it out this way. Okay. And we'll go pull it all the way down like this. Okay. And this will again will be under some flowers, but we want to be able to see the hair through the flowers. Oops. That's okay. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna stick flower right there. Okay. My brush got a little too dry, I think. I'll dry that off. <laughs> Okay, now let's go back into the gray, just a dark gray, and I'm gonna cover down here under his chin. I'm just gonna do some flat pulls just to kind of get that covered up down here. Okay. And I turned my brush to do some little thin strokes just to kind of spread the paint. All righty, now let's go to Let's go to the darker gray. We're gonna make this really dark gray. Okay, almost black. Okay, I need a little water. I'm definitely getting some dry paint here. And I'm just gonna pull down the gray, dark gray here from here with some long strokes. This is his chest hairs. So you do want the other colors to kind of show through, but you definitely want this to be dark. Maybe even more black. Okay. I go almost up here. See, he's gonna have a little chin right here and a little mouth. So I'm gonna go about right here, just to keep it light in that area to make it easier to paint it lighter later. <laughs> I'm just full of tongue twisters today. Okay. 
And I'm gonna go back over a little bit of light brown just to blend those colors, get a little depth, all right? And a little hair this way. Okay, so it's fuzzy. All righty, now that's my brush out. Now I'm gonna take a small detail brush, something like this. See how small that brush is? It's very thin. I'm gonna get it wet and I'm gonna dip it into phthalo blue and a little black. It's gonna be a blue black, all right? It's not solid black. Now I'm going to fill in the eye with this blue color, blue black. You can barely even see it. But this will give it a nice little pop when you finish it later, okay? It's a little blue, all right. Now I'm gonna just leave the paint on my brush and I'm gonna get some black. I'm gonna go ahead and paint in his nose here. So it's kind of a heart shape, I think, on the top. And we'll just paint all this in black. And then we're gonna cover it with some gray. Okay. And he's got down here, while my brush is a little dry, he's kind of got his mouth about right here. Just some little light dry brush, kind of like a shadow. Just kind of a light scrub in there. Okay. Clean that out. My eyes should be almost dry. So now I'm going to take my very small detail brush and I'm going to go into the blue again with the black, but this time I'm gonna make it just a touch lighter. I added just a touch of white. Okay, it's a little brighter blue. I'm gonna go around the edge of the eye very, very lightly. Okay. And the other eye, ooh, it's gone. There it is, very, very lightly. I keep my pinky on the canvas. It kind of helps me stable my hand a little bit because my hand is shaky. I need a little more blue here. And this will dry, oops, this will dry a little darker color. Now I'll rinse out my brush. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and let's work on the nose a little bit. We're gonna take our round brush again. We're gonna get it damp. Okay, the little, it's a little bit round on the end. Um, you know, I'm gonna take a smaller brush. Let's take a smaller brush than that. So let's take the half inch that I was using is the one I'm gonna use for this. And I'm gonna use a little dark gray, you know, that medium gray right there. And we kind of need to shape the nose a little bit with the gray. So we'll go out like this. I need a damp brush here, okay. We'll go out like this. And this is just on the chiseled edge where you're just going very lightly and we'll kind of making the brush spring up off the canvas. I'm gonna get more wet, I think, more paint. That's a dark gray right there. Kinda gives his nose a shape here. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna rinse that off. I'm gonna go ahead and go back into that dark blue. Let's kind of put just a little bit in here. Just a touch, kind of a shadow. Kind of blend that into the nose here. Okay. 
Now the nose, I'm gonna go back into the black and I make sure this is rounded. Okay. And I'm gonna get just a little bit of that. Oh, I guess medium gray, let's try that. See how that works. And I'm just gonna kind of just barely touch the canvas and it's almost like a dot, dot, dot where his nostrils will be. And this should dry a little darker. And we'll do a little gray down here. And then we will take a little of the darker gray, sorry, and do a little line down here that goes down to his lips. It does need to be kind of dark. You don't want it to really stand out, but you want to be able to see it. So I'm just putting a little black over that. Okay, I'm gonna rinse that out. Now, I'm gonna take my medium brush again, my, my half inch here. I'm gonna dry it off. Alrighty, let's take some of the white and let's kind of draw it, put it up here on his nose a little bit. Just kind of barely touches, goes up here and kind of blends in here. Kind of blends in here. Then we're gonna take some of the brown and the black. We'll do a really dark brown. Sorry, I have allergies. I don't have COVID. In Texas, everything is blooming. We're just gonna take the brown up here, kind of color it in here, up towards his eyes. Okay. And then I think a lot more of that dark gray. So I still have the paint on my brush. And I'm not sorry about the dogs. I haven't cleaned it, but I do need to be kind of wet. So go up here. I'm just going to kind of put that white into, shade that white out. And I think I need to clean my brush. And I need to add a lot more white in here. So let's take the white. Okay. And I want to kind of close his eyes in a little bit because this comes all the way down here, like so. This kind of flies into his face here, okay? <laughs> Squirrel, probably. And then I'll just fill in his fur right here, a little bit over that blue. Okay, and then down here, we'll take a little bit of the dark blue and the white gonna be a, and I'm just gonna use the side of my brush and I'm just gonna put this like right about here and give him a little fuzz. Now I went over his mouth so I'm gonna have to put that back in and I'm gonna go over that again with a, just a touch of white. Kind of hide that blue a little bit just to kind of give him a little chin hairs. Can drag it down real light. See how that's kind of blending in? And I'm gonna have to give him his mouth back so I'm gonna get some black on the end of my brush and give him his mouth back here. Oops, more black. Okay. And I even want this to be a little bit lighter. So I clean my brush. I'm going to go back into the white. And let's do the white. Kind of shade that in. Okay. And to hide any mistakes, you can always go back to your, or not mistakes, but what I don't like, is you can go back into your other colors and you can cover up what you don't like. So I kind of made that a little too big and too dark. So I went into my brown with the blue still, or the white still on my brush. I went into the brown and I'm just going to cover that up a little bit. Make sure his mouth can be seen here with the black. Alrighty. So now he's got his chin. And I rinsed out my brush because it was getting a little thick with paint. So let's go in here real quick. Let's just do some highlights here. Let's take some of the dark gray and we'll just kind of fill this in with some shadow. He's not solid white. Oops. I'm gonna do it over here a little bit just to kind of give him a little bit of shadows here. And down. Alrighty. And I'm gonna rinse my brush because it just keeps getting a little stiff with paint. And I'm going to use, I think my black's starting to dry out too. So I'm gonna make a dark gray again. Lots of dark gray on this one. Oh, medium gray, I guess, see that? 
And up here in his ears, we're just gonna go do the little hair touch and drag into his ears. Okay, like this. And maybe up through here even. Kind of cover the bottom of his ear with the gray. It grows up in there. just to light to darken up that white just a little bit I'm just touching my brush to the canvas to cover that up a little I'm gonna go back into my white and let's go up and I'm just gonna finish the go back over that gray and give them some fuzz up here some fuzz down here mm. doesn't look too hairy on that side but that's okay and then over here, here, over here, maybe a little coming up into the bottom of his ear, like that. Both sides. Alrighty. And maybe a little down here just to bring in the black. Okay. Now I'm going to rinse my brush. Alrighty, so now what I want to do is take that little tiny brush, <laughs> which is cleaned out this little tiny brush right here. It is tiny. I'm going to, on the very tip of the brush, barely touch the paint. So it's got, you can barely see the paint on that, see? I'm going to take it and I'm going to barely touch part of the outside of the that blue. Barely, just a little highlight here. And just a little touch here. And same thing over here. A little touch here. Got some loose hairs on my brush. And over here. Okay. Now, just touch the white. Barely touch the white up here. We're going to put a little... Dot. I'm just touch, 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 touch. Okay. And a dot. Touch, 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 touch. Okay. Maybe a little more shadow here. <laughs> Sorry about the howling dog. Okay. Now I'm not, I put too much on here. I clean, rub my brush out. Oh, it's still too dry. So I'm going to get a little bit of that blue-black color. And I'm just going to touch it right there. Kind of get rid of that. That was a little too heavy. Alrighty. Now I'm going to take the same little brush. I cleaned it out. I'm going to get it some white on it. And let's draw some of the fine hairs from his nose. So he's got some whiskers sticking out here. So I'm just dragging, dragging the brush across, getting in some whiskers here. So I'm trying to get him some thin whiskers. And let's gray that up a little bit with some gray here. I think that's about my medium gray. And we'll go back over and give him a few darker whiskers in here, just close by. They don't have to go far, just to darken up this spot a little bit. Okay, and there you go. Now, I think he's okay. Doesn't look quite the same as my other one, but it, I never do two alike. Okay, now for the flowers. I'm gonna take my half inch round, which isn't doesn't look too round right now. I've used it so much. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little damp, wipe off my brush, Dry it off on the paper towel just a touch. And I'm going to go into the green and the brown and get a nice dark green mixture. And we'll put in some background, background leaves. I'm just going to touch, 
push and pull. Touch, push, and pull. See how it kind of leaves a little leaf-like structure there? Make sure your brush is a little damp. And I'm just gonna kind of put these different places. And it goes over him, and those leaves. And we'll highlight them in a minute. Get little leaves. They're kind of growing everywhere down here. And this is just for the background leaves. It's very dark right here. And I'm, oops, a little too much brown. Okay, that's all right, we'll cover that up. Just some leaves going different directions. So he's in the woods, or in the flowers. Okay, a little bit more, let's put some down here. And these can be any shape of leaf you like. I just kind of do a little touch and pull it up. And make these a little thicker, because we're gonna cover them all up, but mostly. All right, now we're gonna use a little lighter green, so we're gonna add a little white to that. And, oops, I'm also gonna add a little light yellow. And this is just some kid yellow that I got for crafting, or crafting yellow. I think I got it in my a kid's paint kit. Okay, so this is a light yellow, right? It's not the cat, it's more of a, I think, it's called Naples yellow in a lot of places, so. Uh, it's just a light yellow. I'm gonna blend that, blend that in to get my lighter leaves. And I'm just gonna put some light leaves around over my dark leaves. Okay. Wherever I want the flower, I'm gonna wherever I want the vine to be. This is going and going through the vine. Sorry, I'm talking here. Okay. I'm going to darken that up just a little. I had a little more green and maybe a little white just to get a brighter color. And let's use this too. Just a different color green. And I'm just touching it all over the canvas. Okay. Now over here, this... I'm gonna rinse off my brush. I want it to be a little clean and I'll dry it off. I didn't rinse it totally. This, we're gonna make that darker green color. Like the brown and the green. And I'm going to use the very chiseled edge of my brush and I'm just gonna bring it up here like a, I like maybe an ivy. Just give it a little and another one right here next to it. Okay, I'm gonna take my darker leaves and let's just put those near the ivy a little bit. Okay, just to add a little flare here. All right, now I'm just still putting my leaves everywhere. So it comes out here. If you have something you don't like, you can cover it up with the leaf right there. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out my brush. And I'm going to use a half inch. This is actually number 12. That's about mm, half an inch. I'm gonna get it damp. And I'm going to go into the yellow and get it on both sides of my brush. Okay, now I'm just going to it's just like the leaves, right? You just kind of touch and make the yellow, touch and pull up. Maybe more yellow. Okay, let me add a little white to my yellow. Maybe a little cad red, just to make a little orange here. Let's just change that color. Ooh, not the brown. White and cad red and yellow. We'll make a little bit of a, kind of an orangey. And kind of go over that. Mm, I don't like that either. Okay, let me rinse my brush and let's go back to the yellow. Okay, we'll do a little yellow. And this will just be a different kind of looking flower. Let's go back into the yellow. And we're just gonna start putting the little flowers onto the canvas. You put them wherever you want them. Let's put one right here on him. 
because he's kind of coming through the flowers, hiding in the flowers. It's a little five leaf, uh, five petal flower. So it's kind of um, like with one stroke, we call it a ginger, like a gingerbread man. So you go head, arm, arm, leg, leg. And there's your five petals. So head, arm, arm, leg, leg. Okay, you go from out, in, out, in, arm, leg, leg. And you can always go back over them. And let's do maybe a half of one up here near the ivy. And just maybe a couple of little, like little petals here and there that aren't, uh, maybe they've fallen off. Give a little different look. And maybe a half a flower here. So one, two, three, and we'll give it the little center here. Yeah, maybe another, maybe another, oops, got orange, that's all right. Five leaf here, five petal here. And all righty. Darken those up just a little bit is what I'm doing. Out in, out in. Okay. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to rinse off that brush. And I'm going to make the orange, the red and the light yellow. And we'll just make a little orange color here. Okay. And this, I'm just going to scrape the orange up onto the end of my brush here. And I'm just going to give it all, I'm just going to touch the center of the, of the flowers with the orange. And have... orange there and here maybe a little here I don't like how that turned out so I'm gonna rinse my brush and dry and kind of tap out off onto the, the paper towel I'm gonna to get my yellow and I'm just gonna go back in oops that's too thick back in over this guy there we go okay and that'll dry real real nice and Let's see, I think everything looks pretty good on him. I think maybe a little more gray around the, around the nose area to darken it up just a little bit. I'm gonna use my half inch and I'm gonna get it damp because my paint is starting to dry here. <laughs> okay, and on the very tip, let's just give him some gray. I just wanna kinda hide some of that white. He just seems a little too bright. Okay. I'm just putting them in. This is when you you can make it your own. You know, you can be pink and purple. Whatever you like him to be. Let's darken up this area just a little. Let's darken up his nose a little. Okay. And he's looking pretty good. I'm gonna get my white here and fill in this space over here just a little. I don't want to go over my flowers. I think we call that good. What do you think? It looks very similar to the other one. Not the same. And I think we're good. We're going to sign it and we'll be done. Always sign your paintings so that they know it's yours. And um, I hope you had fun and you enjoyed it. And I would love to see your raccoons. Thank you for watching.